let's continue our tutorial as you can see it's looking quite uh, good now the things um, we see are our plank with a specific plank theme Aureola Conchi which is called Icarus but a specific one a blue one because of the blue wallpaper I have two desktops I can click on here or scroll on the desktop and we have this tint 2 kind of look but it's a, a look that's different than uh, it used to be so the Antergos tint 2 look is gone when I click right mouse click you see a, a strange menu this menu is not normal why? because I use Nemo as file manager you can use Tunar, you can use PC Man FM, which is from Antergos came with it with installation but I'm choosing to do to work with Nemo I have added these icons on top of it because I have uh, yeah, preferences all icons are there specifically the one I need for uh, opening a tool and um, terminal in the folder I'm in but then it takes over which is fine for me create menu, the folder and, and so on I can work but um, then the right mouse click is gone the right mouse click we standard have in open box how did I fix it you can always go to Windows spacebar which is standard and it will open the menu from open box open uh, so super Windows spacebar okay um, what else Windows spacebar and you have this kill Nemo which is an, an icon that's been I just created so in a week time you will get it on SourceForge but in the meantime it's just that sign but it's gonna kill Nemo and killing Nemo will enable again our open box with right mouse click but I want to test out and show you also that there is a control alt n for, ne for Nico for Nemo if you do that you see something become, becoming black and then right mouse click so it's killing Nemo can be done in two ways just by clicking here or with Ctrl Alt N so now we have back our open box with right mouse click with all the possibilities you can imagine okay let's talk about something we're looking at this thing is quite essential if we can't get to the menu then we're in trouble so let's start with the OB, OB menu generator I've chosen to go with this one there are three four five ways to generate to not generate to manually create to generate and and so on but I'm really loving this thing because of two things you can have two files you have two files in which to define how this will look so this exit open box was under here and so on and so on I changed a lot of things advanced settings was under here as well so I want to have the things that are important to me right mouse click directly under my mouse and so on and all the rest if I need them I'll look for them but the main things I want are up here anyway and I have my shortcuts like Control alt f is gonna be Firefox so they're all programmed and that's explained in another tutorial yep close it the fading in fading out you see Compton.conf that's the file I have added that's why it's doing what it does so we were talking about OB menu generator we have these two files let's open them menu schema or scheme so it's the one we're going to be working the most in because of the possibilities too and this is also a shortcut maybe I should be starting to quickly install screen key because I'll be using a lot of a lot of uh, short uh, keyboard shortcuts and the keyboard shortcuts will I will forget to tell what I'm I'm uh, pressing so this little screen key program is going to be installed and so I can show you I'm pressing this button I'm pressing that button and I'll have to I can forget it and then you can see it so Windows D in the meantime you see that as well screen key 
another way to have a menu screen key is now under here preferences I don't want to see the shift and I don't want to see it that long because I work faster than that right now oh, we are here I want to to do a Windows 5 super 5 super 4 super 7 7 8 5 now you see my keys I'm pressing a bit too fast Eric so I want to do just this okay GNOME terminal right mouse click doesn't work Windows spacebar file manager file manager terminal terminal Firefox Firefox kill Nemo kill Nemo so basically let's go over it what's what are they saying up here this is your command that's a program name and this is your label what should we type as text and what icon should we take so you should take it you should take an icon that exists so again file manager this text terminal Firefox kill Nemo advanced settings advanced settings and give me the image from GNOME, GNOME or the icon GNOME settings and so on and so on like you see customize gpic customize gpic so the menu this thing is created in this file and it's interesting to to be able to do that because we can just copy paste the line and change things what should we remember for instance things that are between this sign and that sign this is an actual command this is a complete string of commands and, and it's text with it so it's done differently so if you want to edit the text you do it like so and if you want to just start the program it's like this and that's all you need to know i've chosen to go with the program ob logout instead of exits so changing my lines couldn't that be couldn't be easier just do this just do that and it's applied as simple as that and utilities so where are they coming from Windows spacebar accessories development education it's alphabetically but if you want to do another way it's up to you you can add these categories as well GTK GNOME console only I've seen it once it's not that nice but if you want to do you can do it here so that's all about schema PL let's go back to Control alt n killing Nemo and then we have here menu config this is a thing you go in once why you, you say to the machine my editor is sublime 3 it was genie in the beginning I don't want to work with genie I want to work with sublime 3 change it here the way you want it and then you want to, to run probably Alex terminal I guess so I told him gnome terminal is the proper thing to go by the way um, I did change something we can both take a look at let's um, let's go inside and go to the config and it's still about OB menu I added the original Antergos OB menu generator file so the original file that you get and that's why I can now look, take a look it was xterm not lxterm so it's not well excuse me it's not actually from Antergos so Antergos did not make it but when this is the standard OB menu generator file has nothing to do with Antergas whatsoever but okay you have to name it somehow so that's all there is to it there's two files you need to know Control alt n you know kill Nemo and then OB menu generator so these two we've explained generator pipe menu depending on the power of your PC right mouse click he's going to make this menu on the fly 
Now, without icons, no issue. Yeah, it's quite fast, no problem. But if we're going to do that again, generate a static menu without icons. So this is no changing, changement. Um, what should I say between these two? This is a program that's run. If you install a program, it, the program will be included. If you uninstall a program, the program will be included. Excluded. Static menu is, well, static meaning if you install something or delete something, it will be still in there. So it will receive an error. This is something that's taking a bit of time on this PC and in virtual machine on an older PC. So generate the pipe menu, right mouse click. There you go. And now all the icons have been created, so it's going to make the menu on the fly, which takes from, in my case, a lot of time. But this is not quite an interesting one, generating a static menu with icons. So it's generated and you can reuse it and reuse it. And as you can see, there is no delay. It's just reading an XML file. So everything has been read. If there's new software, it's now in there. If it's deleted, then it's gone. So these were the items for OB menu generator. And last but not least, if something goes wrong with your icon set, you can refresh the icon set. You can also take a look at the folder because here is the cache of the icons so you can delete this one as well and try and, and well if there's a problem with the icons try to figure out why it's there's a problem and delete the cache to start with that or also start with maybe start here refresh icon sets and then maybe switch between these kind of things to get rid of the icon that's wrong but all in all i don't have these issues so it's um, working just fine the way it is and i'm quite happy with this ob menu generator i hope you can have the same um, work experience as i do ciao for now